peak hour at Wynyard in central Sydney is chaotic on any weekday, but on the morning of September 16th it was especially so. Overnight, major Telstra cables had been cut in York Street and an emergency repair operation by Telstra had begun amidst thousands of buses and cars and swarms of city workers. This particular damage has happened as a result of not properly locating the Telstra assets. The Tolstra network is marked on the ground on the other side over there, two yellow marks. The damage are working for a power company. Um, their intention was to go down locate all the services across the road over here on the intersection. Uh, when they came, when they started saw cutting the road, they um, went down about 250 millimetres and then with a jackhammer on the back of a little mini excavator, they started excavating the concrete. When they removed the 250 millimetres of subgrade or sub base of the road, they then checked down further about 300 millimetres, and this is where the Telstra network was hit. Why the Telstra network is so shallow? Because we are going on top of the railway tunnels. We had people on site from 11:30 last night. Um, we've basically lost uh, well eight, eight fibre cables and three main cables. The, uh, the largest being a 4800. Uh, 42 and a 3600 pair cable. We've lost a 288 fibre plus a couple of 60s, a couple of 12s and a couple of 6s as well. Our estimated uh, time of repair is looking at uh, about 7 to 10 days. We're, look, we're hoping to get the fibre um, all up and running within the next 24. Um, Look, we've got some uh, well, some issues that we've got to work through because instead of hitting it once, they've uh, hit it a number of times and they've hit it in a number of ducts. Uh, we've got approximately three layers of duct line uh, which has been damaged. We've assessed what we have to replace, which is approximately 120 metres of cable three times. And uh, we've got contractors on the way with the uh, cable and we'll be here probably for the next week around the clock. Guys on site are here uh, to repair and replace the uh, existing fibres and then we've got the copper crew uh, coming in. Talking large size cables, we're uh, talking uh, major runs which we have to replace. In the city we've got, uh, we've got major traffic issues. Uh, we've also got to work within the tunnel network, which is um, a restriction again. Okay, um, basically, now we're in the mainframe, uh, which is uh, Kent Exchange. What we're doing here is we've uh, basically been had the cable hauled in, and now we're starting to do the cutover. Each one of these blocks is a hundred, hundred capability of a hundred working lines. Um, each building in the CBD has a mainframe. Uh, that may be uh, two thousand lines, could be a hundred lines. The guys are now going working from the exchange to each building, and we've got a guys in the exchange and guys in the uh, buildings themselves buzzing back to a central control point. For the Telstra teams, it was time-consuming, repetitive but vital work in uncomfortable locations, small pits and underground tunnels, as 10,000 copper pairs were rejoined. It sends a warble tone, then we short it, then Reg will short his. When he's got the same pair, he'll send pair just say 50. Hang on a sec, mate. He'll send 50 from the bank, 50 from the exchange. I'll find it from the bank, Reg will find it from the exchange, and we'll put that through, then we'll go to 51. Okay. Unfortunately, we'll be doing that for about 10,000, I think. So. <laughs> we had an electrical storm last night, and then, then we had a uh, dust storm after that, just to slow us down a bit more. But uh, we've worked through that, and, and we're on track. The majority of services are restored. Uh, we'll still be here for another couple of days cleaning up and uh, sealing the cables and ensuring every customer's got service. This cable cut was the CBD's worst, and it emphasised once again the importance of dial before you dig, the independent service that provides maps of underground services meant to prevent this sort of disaster happening. Dial before you dig in conjunction with Telstra hold information sessions and briefings for excavators, builders, engineers and contractors all over Australia. For us, this sort of a damage, while regrettable, is a useful learning experience and we're working together with Telstra and the other parties involved on site to try and work out how the damage occurred and how it could have been prevented so that we can take that message out to the construction industry so hopefully it never happens again.